Hi, Anthony here with a review on Movavi Video Suite. I've used several different video editors and screen recorders and I'm often looking for applications that are easy to use and user-friendly. When I first tried Movavi Video Suite, I was impressed by its features and functionality. In this video review, I will share some key features of Movavi Video Suite as well as some of its drawbacks. Movavi Video Suite includes a video editor, converter, screen recorder, video player, video splitter, webcam recorder. It also includes an audio player, converter, recorder, and audio to CD burner. And finally, an image converter and slideshow creator as well. First of all, I found the user interface very easy to navigate and familiar with some of the other popular video editors that I've used like Adobe and Camtasia. So if you're new to video editing, I think you will find this less overwhelming compared to the other more popular video editors. Let me start off by briefly walking you through the user interface of the Movavi video editor. Right off the bat, I love the clean look and feel of the user interface. Here's where you would generally start off, that is by importing your media files. You can either import individual images and videos or a whole folder. Down below is a timeline which supports multiple tracks. Here's where you would apply filters, transitions, text animations, annotations and other effects which I will show you in a moment. Some of the toolbars will only be activated once you upload your assets. For example, this editing toolbar for splitting clips, cropping, recording voiceover and much more. And finally, in this preview section is where you can play clips from your timeline. Let me show you a few examples of filters, transitions, and text animations in Movavi. Filters are found in this left side toolbar. And let me share some of my favorites. I love this catch effect. It's pretty cool, as you can see. Here is an old movie filter. And here's another interesting one, Vertigo. And there are so many more. Similarly, you'll find transitions in this section, and here are a few examples. This Fade to Black is a popular one. This is Gradient, and you get it in many directions. You have the popular Ken Burns effect as well. I like these origami ones as well. This is Pleats and this one's Valley. The smear ones are pretty cool as well. And there are so many more. You can even add cool text animations. Check these ones out. This is a clean circle and it's pretty neat as you can see. I like this one too, clean contrast. As well as a clean title or clean line. This flying text has a nice effect too. Here's Ribbon Stars, another cool one, and so many more. And finally, you can add a variety of annotations and callouts. In this section, you will find some more useful features like pan and zoom animation, with which you can zoom in, zoom out and pan. The highlight and conceal feature, with which you can highlight and focus or blur specific areas. There's also a chroma key feature to do green screen videos. And finally, the stabilization feature that allows you to stabilize shaky video. You can even create quick slideshows using the built-in slideshow maker. You start by opening the slideshow wizard, upload your photos, apply transitions, add music, and render your video. In terms of drawbacks and improvements that I like to see in Movavi Video Editor, when working with AVI file format videos, I found it difficult when trimming and splitting videos because it kept throwing the audio video out of sync. The solution was to convert the AVI file to an MP4 
and that worked pretty well. And I used the Movavi video converter to convert the video. There is so much more that you can do with Movavi Video Suite. The trial version is not really great because it has a lot of limitations, but the good news is that you can get a full version at a discounted price. Up to 30%, you can check the download link and discount code in the description section. Well, hope you found this Movavi video review helpful. Feel free to check my video tutorials on how to use Movavi Video Suite. And thanks for watching.